Hello everyone. Today I'm going to share with you the next three questions from PSRE Math 2018 Paper 2, Question 9, 10, and 11. This is the exam smart strategy that I shared with you. Read to the question to get an idea of what the question is all about and when we are reading we must annotate annotate means we underline the keywords circle the important information or even do some arrow connection now when we annotate we are actually picking up keywords and the keywords help us to identify the concepts so there's a relationship between the keywords relating to all the concepts and heuristics that we all know now upon knowing the concepts, the heuristics, we can already move on to solve, right? Okay, after getting our solution to each question, we have to evaluate to find out whether our answers are reasonable and accurate. To do so, we can use the answer and work backwards, or we can use a separate, a different heuristic, a different concept to tackle the same question. The three questions that I am going to discuss today question 9, 10, and 11. They are on this particular slide. Okay, I'm going to zoom in to question 9 now. First and foremost, I am going to annotate. Mr. Tan packed 508 tarts into large and small boxes. The large one contained 20. And the small ones contained 12 tarts. So we have these two information, and there's a very important information here. All the boxes used, they were fully packed and zero remainder. Okay, so when they are fully packed and when there's no remainder, that means it must be divisible by both 20. And 12 in, in the packing process okay now to help mr. Tan to find out how many boxes he used the least number of boxes we all should know very well that he must have used many many large boxes as many large boxes as possible before he used the small ones okay so let's work with large boxes now looking at the tarts again 508 tarts packed into boxes of 20. We have 25.4. 25.4 means there are 25 boxes, full boxes, and with remaining tarts unpacked. Okay? All right. So definitely cannot be 25 large. This is 25 large. Cannot be already. So we are going to move on to 26 now. So 25 large is impossible. Okay, so this is out. So I'm going to move on to 26. So if there are 26 boxes of 20 tarts, 26 times 20 give us 520. Okay, 520 already exceeds the 508. So 26 boxes of large one is ridiculous. So it's out. Okay, so we cannot have more than 25, so we have to go down to 24 boxes. So if there are 24 boxes, 24 times 20 gives us 480, okay? And these 480 tasks are in large boxes, meaning the remaining The remaining 28 tasks must be in small ones but 28 is not divisible by 12 so out so this is out okay so the final guess let's move on to 23 so if there are 23 large boxes each one 20 tasks in the large box 20 okay i, I wrote wrongly 23. 23 large boxes of 20 tarts. So 23 times 20 
gives us 460. Right? 460 are all the large ones. So the small ones will be 48. So these are the tarts that enter will be packed into the small ones. Okay? And 48 can be divided by 12. That gives us 4. Okay? So this one tells us that Mr. Tan used 23 large boxes and 4 small boxes. So in total, he used 27 boxes. Question 9 is solved. So number 9 is actually using divisibility. Whether the number can be divided by 20, by 12, with logical reasoning. Now, question 10 is on nets and solid figures. First and foremost, question A is asking us to draw the front view and the side view. Okay, let's tackle the front view now. Remember, when we draw the front view, okay, we are actually looking at here. I'm going to do something. I'm going to use a uh, purple. Front view means we are able to look at this. This all the crosses means we can see them. Okay, we can see all this. We can see uh, this one. That's all. Okay, so we can see a total of four crosses looking at the front view. So the front view should look something like this. Remember to use pencil and ruler to draw the front view and the side view. Okay. So, this is the one. Okay, you are not allowed to use freehand. Okay, so the front view is done. Now, what about the side view? I'm going to use another color. At the, at the, from the side view, I can see this, 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 and this. So, let's draw what we, I have dotted. So it's like that. Three over here. Okay. Okay, wait, let me redo. It's not very neat. So two and three. And here there should be two more. Stack up. Yep, that's it. Okay? Alright, now I'm gonna move on to part B. Now Part B, we know that John painted the whole solid structure, including the base red. And we want to find out how many of the cubes had exactly four painted faces. Four. All right. Okay. So let's take a look. Now, this top cube over here. There are five painted faces. Okay, let me let me change color. Okay, so there should be five painted faces here. This one here, four. This one here, four. Followed by four. This is also four. This is four. This is five. Okay, and there's one more hidden here. It's four. Okay, and we want to know the four faces that are painted red. So let's circle them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and then part B answer, there should be six. Six cubes with four faces painted red. Number 10 is done. Question 11 is using line graph. Okay. Okay. And it's about rate. All right. So number 10 is on the using is a is line graph. And the topic is rate. Rate is a P5 chapter. All right. Okay. Now let's move. Let's continue. How much is the taxi fare? For the first km. First km means here. So it looks carefully. 
it is multiples of three so this is three dollars so a is done three dollars b Weiming paid six dollars for the taxi ride and what was the distance he traveled so Weiming paid six dollars okay six dollars is somewhere here this one so looking at the line graph is very easily done so 4 km so b is done okay i'm going to look at c now part c how much does the taxi company charge for every km after 4 km of travel that means it's after 4 km means it's from here onwards from here onwards that means it is from this to this is this slope this line here okay all right so we focus on the focus on the purple line that is going upwards the upward trend and we want to know every km okay so from here what i do is i will take 4 km to 6 km so 2 km okay that means from here to here is actually six dollars all the way uh the, this dot shows us fifteen dollars okay all right fifteen dollars now for the so for the fifteen dollars fifteen to sixteen right so it is a jump of nine dollars okay a jump of nine dollars now so how much does the taxi company charge okay now take note the fifteen dollars here right okay the fifteen dollars here includes the first two km which is three dollars okay all right and in also includes the next 2 km all right okay. that will be another uh, three dollars so in total here is nine dollars okay, sorry six dollars okay all right now then the next one km okay the next one km uh we can't really see but we know that from six dollars to fifteen dollars is actually a difference of nine nine dollars okay so nine dollars is actually uh two hours this one two km not two, uh, not two hours two km so if two km is nine hours then one km one km must be nine dollars divided by two that gives us 450 okay so this is already the answer 450 is the answer so it can be obtained from here okay all right that means part c is done okay all right so by looking at this part here i can get part c done 15 minus 6 give us nine dollars and nine dollars is for the two km traveled four to six so if it's two km nine dollars okay if if it's two km nine dollars then 1 km must be 450. Okay? Alright, so question 11 is done. Now, the next video that I will be uploading will be part 4. We'll be sharing on question 12, 13, and 15. Alright? What about question 14? Question 14 is already in a video that's uploaded. It's on all items changed. 
right? So you can actually look for my video on all items change in the YouTube. All right, if my if you find that my today's ex, uh, video on question 9, 10, and 11 uh, is beneficial to you, do click on the like button and share with anyone who is keen to know more about PSRE 2018 Paper 2. And then don't forget to subscribe so that you get notification for my other videos from part 4 and onwards. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.